Fish on. Now, when we drove down the road, it's it, look at this, a brook trout. Get that. Look at that. I mean, we drove down the, the road here. We're right, we're, we're about, I don't know, a half mile downstream of Upper Chattahoochee Campground. This is the Hooch. Same one in Atlanta, same one by Helen, same one here. This is the upper end of where they stock, the upper end of where the stock trout are. And guess what? We had a feeling they were gonna be in this hole right here when we saw it from the road. Get him, get him. Oh, Troy. Look at that. Third time? Is it a Rocky. two brooks in a row? Come on, settle down, buddy. Time out, time out, time out. Now that just shows you, Troy was a little slow on that last bite, only because he's got his, uh, look at that. Tristan, we need your help, buddy. Thank you, sir. Troy's trying to bring tie-dye back, and that, there you go. <laughs> there it is, another rainbow. Now, we were, we were driving right up along this road right here, and Tristan said, whoa, whoa, stop, stop, stop. Look at that hole right there. It's right, it's right along the side of the road. Sure enough, it is. Sure enough, there's trout here. We've got a brook and a rainbow right away. We're gonna see if we can find a brown. We know they stock them in here. We don't know when, but we're gonna try for the triple and see what happens here. This is ridiculous. Unreal. That one, little one. Another brook, you. Woo, doggy. Feisty. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Two rainbows. Look at this. So those of you that live in Atlanta, put this on your list. This is Upper Chattahoochee Campground. This isn't the campground itself. The campground is upstream a ways. We'll go over there in a little while and show it to you. But there's a lot of people that fish up there. there were, when we went over there earlier, there were so many people, we couldn't really find a spot. So we came down here and there's nobody down here at all, just outside the campground. It shows you either they stock right here or fish get washed down. Regardless, there's a lot of fish up here. We're having fun catching them. Get them, oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Another one. That so I'm using garlic salmon egg fire bait. Let me show you my setup here. I got a size 14 Kowalski fire hook. And then not like a couple inches up, I got four BB split shots. Cause remember the bait floats. So you want it to sink. And then about half a foot up, we got a float. It's not very deep where we're fishing. So I'm gonna show you how to do it here. Open your jar. Get it just a tiny bit out of there. Ball it up on the hook. You got him, you got him. So cute. Yoink. Oh my gosh. So as you saw down here on the creek, we've been catching a lot of fish. And Beta Choice right now is a gold label. These things are glittery. Let me show you what we're doing. As you can see, fishing's been really good because we've used almost a whole jar today. Well, you just take one. This is a size 14. Insert the hook, you're ready to rock and roll. Look at the sparkles on that thing. Ready to catch some fish.
Palm of your hand. Really nice looking rainbow, actually. So we've now worked our way, I don't know, about, I would say close to about 100 yards down this stream. And we've plucked fish out of almost every hole. Now, when we got really far down below, we didn't catch any more planters. We just caught a bunch of wild trout, which you guys are gonna see here. Much smaller fish, real pretty fish, but it just shows you get away from the campground. You can have a great day here on the upper Chattahoochee. You know, today's episode of Potsky Outdoors kind of brought things full circle. And what I mean by that is, you know, over the last several years, we were able to fish the Chattahoochee River down in Atlanta, also known as the Lanier Tailwaters. We've also fished the Chattahoochee River in Helen. Today, we're finally at the upper Chattahoochee River, and this is all the way up at the headwaters. Uh, we're looking at a couple of miles from the headwaters here, and you quickly will find out that the state of Georgia does more than a phenomenal job stocking this area, okay? This upper section gets stocked 16 times a year with roughly, you don't, you're not gonna believe this, 24,000 trout. And I'm not talking about just this section of stream we're fishing today. I'm talking about the whole upper section of trout that's here. And we're talking about the section above Helen. That's a massive amount of fish that goes to an area that's very high use. Now, this upper section that we're fishing today basically goes from Horse Trough Falls. I would say a little bit down there, you're gonna find on a map, Henson Creek meets Horse Trough Falls, just up at the upper end of the campground. You know, when we called the Georgia DNR and asked them, hey, where do you guys stock from here? They told us exactly where they stock. They stock from there all the way downstream to just below where the river crosses the road. Now we're fishing just below where the river crosses the road right here. This is not, upper Chattahoochee campground. This is just outside of the campground. Why are we down here? Because this campground is very popular. There's a lot of people fishing in the campground all the time. There was nobody fishing below the bridge, below the culvert, whatever you want to call it. So we came down here and it was silly how many fish there were. And you know what? We understand why. This place is stocked every single week of the year. You know, early mid spring like it is right now, there's not enough kids out of school yet. There's not as many people here early in the week like we are. You know, today is a Tuesday. When you fish up here on a Tuesday, crowds are a little bit less. We were fortunate to come to this area in the Chattahoochee National Forest, which is about 15 miles up above Helen and, you know, 35 minutes from Helen. Anybody can find that on the map. It shows you where it is here in North Georgia. Now, as you saw here today, a lot of our fish really came in about a 25, 30 yard stretch. And this stretch was incredible. We, we caught some really small wild trout. You'll see a hand shot of one here that I'm assuming is five to six inches. Some of the prettiest colors I've ever seen. Uh, however, most of the other fish today were brook and rainbow trout that came on several baits. Now, Tristan started with garlic salmon egg fire bait and just made a living catching fish on that. Troy used gold labels specifically, both of these guys using them on, of course, size 12 and 14 fire hooks, as well as under fire floats. Now, the interesting thing is I gave these guys, hey, it's going to like recess, use whatever you want, have fun. We're not worried about filming right now, just enjoy yourself. And I threw the drone up in the air and we were able to get them catching fish after fish after fish on orange and peach fireworms. It just shows you if you bring an arsenal of different things, you can have tremendous success, even in a heavily pressured area, just like this. Now, whatever you enjoy using for bait, whether you're a spinner guy, a bait guy, a fly guy, come on up here, enjoy the upper Chattahoochee, and you too can have a great time here in the North Georgia mountains. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.